This is just a fast little video, so I don't have to explain this later. Anybody who saw my shoulder video, I had a hell of a time seeing where my shoulders were. Couldn't see where my shoulders were when I did shoulder press with that bar. And of course, I was uneven because my left side is much weaker from the rotor cuff injury here on the left. Now I can see what I'm doing and I can see what I'm flexing or not. This is so important. So we got two here, nice big mirrors. Just makes it even. I don't know if I'll ever hang them or not. I'm just lean them up against the wall. You can see what the hell I'm doing. I can watch what I'm doing with squats if I want to. It's so important to be able to watch your movements in a mirror so that you keep your body even. All bodies are off one way or another. Right side, left side, they're not equal. And with weights and strength training, you can equal that out quite a bit. So never completely, but it makes a huge difference in the equal to one left side and right side of the body. The other thing we got here, as I was saying, I'm gonna remake this little hip pull-up bar here. We're gonna remake it with these here. We just got two of them. We can put one on one side and one on the other. And I'm gonna get another set of uh, Olympic weights and we can put on there and uh, so forth. That way I can have a better tier of, of weights and then I don't have to readjust so much and uh, help hold this in place. So we're going to redo that and redo that top bar here pretty soon. So that's where things are at right now. We're going to do squats. And so I don't have to explain. If you see it there on the bottom of that pad, we've got two big weights in the bottom. That's going to give us an extra movement of the uh, calf exercise. I need to get up some step ups, but that there is for now because I don't have any step ups. So that'll give you a, a more complete movement of the calf exercise. So, anyhow, this is uh, Saturday, the aftermath of El Camino. What I understand is uh, another 20 to 30 vendors showed up, mostly British and Japanese. Brian 3G Nux said he actually sold a little bit, gone a little bit, very impressive. But it's all been what you're looking for. And uh, I didn't get to sleep almost 3 o'clock with the heat and everything. I wasn't about to wake up in two hours later and go there again and find nothing. So anyhow, that's that. And we'll see you guys in the next video.